Hey guys, what's happening? So, had this saw for a very, very long time. It was one of the first tools I ever bought uh, when I was a kid, as a teenager. And I mean, it wasn't even actually a good saw. I mean, it was like one of the cheaper ones uh, back in the probably the 90s. Uh, but what I liked about it is that it was American made. And you can, you can no longer find saws that are made in America. Um, yeah, this thing actually fell on me when I was cutting some scrap wood up at the cabin. And, uh, I've already taken it off, so I figured out it's, it's actually the brushes, but, um, yeah, I even actually made another video about my Craigslist. I actually bought a better saw, the 77, uh, but I purposely went on Craigslist because I wanted to buy, find one that was made in America. Uh, just because every single tool now, every single saw, I even went to Home Depot and made a video about it. You just can't find a saw that's anything that's made in, uh, America anymore. It's all made in China. I mean, if you're lucky, it might be made in Japan, but even the Makita is all made in China now, so. So, yeah, I figured I'd spend the extra money, maybe keep an extra saw. Plus, like I said, it has sentimental value. And if this thing wasn't actually made in America, I wouldn't even bother. Uh, I wouldn't even bother putting any more money into it, but. So, it's a Skill 5150. And originally, the brushes had got messed up. So, it looked like the material was, there was still material there. But on this one, like the spring broke. Like the spring had finally given out right here. But uh, yeah, I was, I was cutting scrap wood one day and it just basically started kind of becoming intermittent. So, the cool thing is they still sell brushes for these things. So, got some extra Bosch brushes. And uh, we'll get it going. Probably uh, end up blowing my air compressor, you know, out. Who knows, like I said, this thing was my one of my first tools. This and my uh, DeWalt Saza. But actually, I, I didn't really use it that much. It's not something you use a lot, lot so in here it's, it's really good condition. It's not worn down at all. So, all right, so let's get to go. Open this up. All right, so here is the original one. Here's the new ones. Yeah, you can definitely see the burning here. Um, I mean, it might have been when it actually the spring broke and became loose. And it actually was generating a lot more heat. But, uh, yeah, this should just pop, pop on there. At least they made this thing really easy to fix. That little thing lines up with a little hole right in there. That little thing. And you just pop it down. Lines up like that. And you just gotta push it down in that little cavity like that. And then uh, that gives it, that actually it gives it the uh, contact, electrical contact. And these two little rubber things right here hold the, hold the brushes in place right there. So that's how easy it is. Put in there tight. Put the cover back on. Okay, so before I put the cover back on, I'm gonna blow this out with my air compressor. Try to get all the stuff that, you know, this would probably be impeding the airflow. So get all the extra dust out of here. Maybe you can throw a little lube on the on the bearing. Right, put the cover back on. Screws back on. This is definitely probably one of the easiest saws I've ever replaced brushes with. Um, I guess actually it would be easier if you had the side ones where you can screw some them. Those are pretty easy too. Like this one right here. Brushes you just unscrew them on the side. Alright. Alright, right, cool, it works. So, yeah, keeping my American made uh, tools, keeping them alive. Alright, awesome.